It is nighttime, and we are live outside at the Empire Fight Camp. My name is Todd Grisha. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Looking yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's time for our Undisputed. This corner, it's Saul Undisputed Saul boxing. Alvarez. Early access. It is now available. And, uh, and this is the fighter that I've been really, really looking forward to testing out. Saul Canelo Alvarez. I will say... I've had access to this game for a few days now, and I've uh, I've tested some of these fighters. I've tested uh, Canelo, of course, Roy Jones. There's some of the interesting fighters on the list that we are definitely going to use. I mean, we're going to look at this whole entire game top to bottom, right? Um, but for now, though, I know you guys just really want to see gameplay, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy I'm um, seeing Canelo Alvarez. At least you want to see what Canelo Alvarez feels like or looks like in the game. And that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'll tell you guys, uh, he's powerful. Uh, he feels reasonably fast. Uh, his footwork is, uh, his, he, he's, he plods a little bit, which is, I think that's, that's, that's kind of realistic. I mean, when you watch him fight, um, although he has good movement, I think with Canelo, in terms of his elusiveness, I personally see him with really, really good head movement, but he's he's a power he's a power fighter, right? Like he he loves to march you down and uh, and look to land bombs. So I, I have seen people run circles around him a little bit, but let's see if they deliver. There we go. He's a very skilled boxer, one of the pound for pound greats. Oh, look at that! See his beard? It's all messed up. I'm sure they'll fix that. Of course, when you fight Roy Jones, when you fight Roy, jo yeah, punch. it's saying high ping, but uh, to be honest, it feels feels smooth, feels okay, it's not that bad. I wish it would stop flashing though. <laughs> like I, I already see it. It's very distracting. Oh, got him to the body right there. To the body again. To the body. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. Nope, I've never danced with the devil under the pale moonlight. No, I've never done that. Caught him with that left hook. Uh, Canelo Alvarez's left hook is money, man. It feels incredible. That one will count. So... The biggest thing to worry about, of course, when facing Roy Jones and your Canelo or your pretty much anyone else is Roy Jones is going to have a speed advantage. But my opponent right now doesn't look like he's too concerned with throwing speed. Like, you know, he, he seems to be concerned with throwing power. Got him. Stepped and got him right there. But I, I just, I don't think it's the, yeah, I don't think this is the right strategy to, to use against Canelo Alvarez, bro. There we go. There we go. That's more like Roy. The told his uh, tag him to the body. There we go. Yep. Good round. I think I won that round clearly. We landed some uh, some clean shots. I'm going to work the body every chance I get, especially because I'm using Canelo Alvarez. And he does have a perk. He has a perk. Uh, a body snatch and perk. So we're going to try to use that a little bit. Use the jab, of course. Oh, nice. Pretty much most of the weapons I'm going to be using will be the jab. I'll be using the, the hook to the body and then the left hook to the head a lot. Yeah, because his... If you ever watch Canelo Alvarez, man, that left hook is absolute money, bro. He throws that. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm also getting uh, better at um, moving my head at the right time as opposed to like moving it all the time. I will also say, I will also say, um, oh, he's gassed. Oh boy, gas, gassing himself out, throwing, throwing so hard. Yeah.
the way this game treats um, strike tracking, you can whiff very easily. Like you can you can miss a straight punch if the opponent moves laterally, right? So a lot of times, uh, a lot of times you have to like throw your shot where the opponent is going, where you think they'll go. So like if they're circling to the, if they're circling to their left, then you have to start throwing like right hooks and and round shots that kind of intercepts them. And if they're circling to their right, then you have to start throwing like left shots, right? It's one of the few things uh, with this game to keep in mind. Again, I've been playing it for a few days now, and I am figuring out some stuff. As always, whatever I know, whatever little tips and tricks I know, I am going to show you guys. See how see how the jab is whiffing as he's moving laterally? So now I'm going to start throwing my right hook, because I notice he's circling to his left. That's mostly where he's circling. That's also something to keep in mind. Um... The best times to throw the jab and the cross is is when they're moving. Uh, when they're moving in a in a straight line. When they're coming at you in a straight line. But side to side movement. Try to pay attention to what side they're moving. And then try to throw shots to that side. There you go. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? It's the one who draws first blood card. That's what you've got to look at. If you pick and you know you're The way this man is using Roy is making me want to cry, bro. Like, I would be throwing so much, so many more jabs, straights. I haven't seen him throw Roy straight like, at all. <laughs> Roy Jones has a beautiful cross, man. Careful, man. He misses with that jab. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I feel you getting tired now, sir. I'm going to see how many fights I can do. Probably going to do two fights. Um... The thing with boxing is uh, the fights are long, man. They're just long. Nice. Caught him right there. Okay. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a jerk. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Aha! Uh -huh. Went in two rounds. Lost round number two. Okay, interesting. Well, let's not lose any more rounds. Big swing and a miss. Trying to throw uppercuts at me, bro. <laughs> nice. Nice hook there. Nice. Oh, boy. Ooh, I wish I was too close. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and opponent nice. is okay. impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Um, this game also has uh, multiple different control types. If you're the kind of person that's like more comfortable using the sticks to strike, so if you're like if you're a fight night player, for example, and you got very good at using the the right stick to do your striking, you could also do that with uh, Undisputed. Um, before the early access dropped. The first time we played the game, I brought up the fact that I did not like how the head movement, I mean, specifically slipping, how it's mapped to uh, pressing down on your left stick and then moving it. I talked about how I, I think we should be able to just flick it. And actually, it's in the game now. So I don't know if it was already in the game or if, uh, you know, my suggestion... I don't know if it was already in the game or if my suggestion was an inspiration for them to do that. Either way, I am glad because now I can move my head way, way easier. And I'm going to, before you play the game, I would definitely go into the settings and uh, switch the control scheme to the one called Defender. 
you've got there's multiple ones there's uh there's defender there's uh undisputed there's um gladiator <laughs> very interesting names more the, the different control schemes uh pick the one that says defender i think that is the most the one that you guys are going to be most comfortable with the one you're going to be more used to based on the games that we've played in the past i think it's more intuitive than the other ones um so definitely go definitely go with defender oh also try the other ones and just see see whichever one feels the best to you i personally love when games do that so i think they're taking accessibility in this game very seriously which is always good to see making sure that the game is accessible to multiple different types of players and that you can tailor the control scheme to your liking it's good Ah! Got him! Aha! Uh -huh. Sit that boy down! Sit that boy down! Get up, Roy! Get up, sir! Up, 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 up! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! So they'll make it up, and up, the spike up, up! You go! Stand and fight with me. Properly, 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 properly. Stand and fight with me. Oh boy. Hey, careful now. You're about to get sat down again, boy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, you circling to the right now? Alright, watch this. You better you about, you about start getting hooks now. Keep circling to my right, boy. 10 seconds here and this has not been his round. Oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> a lot of players, they start, uh, they get very power heavy, but it's like, it's something that I see in pretty much every other game that I play. I see it in UFC as well. Players really love heavy, heavy shots. They, they favor brute force. I say, I say it all the time. Oh my God. What? say it all the time some players really really favor brute force if, if it's gonna do a lot of damage instant gratification i like to say i'm just gonna pile it up i want to pile up the damage and then eventually get him out of there also the ai in this game is freaking crazy bro cracked ai man I can't wait to show you guys that <laughs> AI is no joke. The AI is no joke. It's going to tee off on your body the whole entire time and just try to blast you and cut you down. And uh, offline, there's um, there's settings for you to actually tailor the game to your liking. You could do simulation. Um, you could do uh, casual. And then, of course, you could increase the power. You could increase stamina drain. Stuff like that. When you increase the power all the way and <laughs> game, the game gets ridiculously dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, you are getting blasted right now, sir. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. So far, it seems like aggression, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know which fighter is winning. That is one thing that I have noticed. After the bell, you can keep going. I think that's going to be a thing. Oh, he won round number four. I am beating them though. That boy's getting beat. You see how he keeps circling on my right? With this game, I would, you know, you definitely have to pay attention to where you're circling. Oh, now he's trying to be very aggressive. That's not a good idea, bro. You're going to get sat down. 
That is not a good idea. Not against Canelo. You're not going to win that. Especially with how I'm playing you right now. I'm going to chop you down, sir. Yeah, the way some of these shots whiff. All right. Come on. See that? It's like lateral. If you throw a cross and he begins to move, it whiffs. It's like, oh, you threw the shot. I'm not there anymore. Nice punch. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means. Hey, are you sight? Are you backstepping and hitting me? Is that what, is that what you're doing right now? If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Uppercuts. Careful now. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Can he actually get up twice? That's the question. Oh boy. That does it. <laughs> he could not get up a second time. Uh, that's how it is, bro. That's how it is. Beautiful, beautiful. He actually cut me. He cut me. He cut me. Very well. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, let's see. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do, uh, let's do one more. Sorry about the mirror match, by the way, guys. Nice exchange here from both men. But, um, you know, we all want to use Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, uh, in this weight class right here, um, I'm probably not going to... Canelo is most likely not going to be my main. I think my main is going to be Roy, just flat out. And no, it, 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 with, with this game, I am not going to main a low-rated character. Like, no thanks. It's Using low-rated characters in this game, is it's not the... Um, what an arena. It what ain't it, bro. It is not it. Um, I mean, we'll do it. I'll try to get as many showcases in as nice possible. From both men in this he threw the hook, didn't land. I was thinking about doing a, like a challenge where I use every single fighter in the game. I might do that. Use every fighter in the game at least once before our early access is over. Um, and he fails to score with that left hook. Oh, by the way, I am in the red corner. Just <laughs> by by red corner, I mean I'm on on the left side. I'm on the left side. So sorry, you guys are probably trying to figure out like which which, which fighter are you? Yeah, it's it's the same uh same Muay striker, Muay striker uh Muay striker twenty. All right. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. This guy I'm fighting right now, he's a better Canelo. I mean, he's a better player than the last guy. So we're going to be a bit more careful with him. But I think this fight, I think it's going to play fairly similar. Oh, jabbing him now. There we go. Oh, he's trying to stay right on top of me now. Hey, bro, this is not going to go well for you, bro. It's not going to go well. well that looked like a flash knockdown here. Is that it? If he can get back to his feet, the referee has started the count here. I don't know. Oh my it's god. Good. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I thought I knocked him out. I think his mouthpiece fell out too right there. The 
Wow. Yeah, you pushing me like that is not a good idea for you, man. It's just not. It's just not. One of the harder aspects of this game is finding the right range. When a player finds the range for you by consistently staying in front of you, in this game, they are pretty much doing you a huge favor. Like, if you're literally standing in front of you, you should be able to, you should be fine. The Spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. If you get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. Use speed to straighten, take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. Careful now. Careful. I'm winging these power shots now. I'm throwing these power shots now. Careful now. Nice job by him to block that jab. <laughs> this is... I think this 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 cross cross combo, it's always funny to me. And dude, the AI freaking throws it like a maniac, bro. I can't wait to show you guys. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Me. I'll land the first big shot. All right, he's moving his head now, moving his head, moving his head. But yeah, bro, like in terms of uh, in terms of fighter uniqueness, Canelo feels good. Um, he feels his movement feels like I expect him to move. He feels heavy. He feels powerful, like the sort of movement you expect from a man who's powerful. Um, his punches are not as snappy as I would like it. But then again, Canelo also isn't really. It's like, I would just describe Canelo as a truck, right? Like, he's fast. He definitely is a sophisticated boxer. Um, very good head movement, very good timing. But, like, if you look at the way he throws, right, and you compare it to, say, someone like... Um... Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Hey, careful now. Careful now. You look at the way he throws and you compare it to how someone like, say, Floyd Mayweather throws. There's a... It's just... There's just a bit more to his shots, right? A bit more. And I think the game actually uh, does a good job of that. He doesn't feel as like... He doesn't feel like a Lambo. There you go. Like, if I was to compare him to a car, they call it the chin. he feels like a freaking chin. truck. A you know, chin. you're moving him around. He's he feels like he's plotting. Of course, you can... He can speed up his, his movement with the loose footwork. I just don't like doing it. I really don't like using the loose footwork too much. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. But overall, um, I yeah, say he, he feels like a truck compared to say, someone like Roy. Like Roy Jones feels more like a freaking Lambo, bro. Like just zip, 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 zip to his footwork, his punches, everything. There we go, winning it all three rounds, 30-26. This is the part where he's going to. He's really going to try to. Ah, careful now. You're about to get dropped. These shots are landing clean now. Come on. He missed with that jab. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Well, yeah. So frustrating when you're in with such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. He leveled up. He leveled up. Now he's moving his head. Now you're moving your head, huh, sir? You're moving your head now. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He blocks the right. Nice uppercuts, uppercuts actually. He's throwing and now leaning. Okay. 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 Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Which one? We're the same person, bro. What is this commentary? Am I 
to just start teeing off on you, bro. Fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Hey, man, you can want it as bad as uh, as you want. If your body is gone, it's gone, bro. Especially if we're getting tired, man. The body needs fuel. You cannot. All right. Who's winning this fight right now? I'm winning the fight. Do you really need to ask who's winning? I'm winning. You ain't got to ask that. Your boy's winning the fight. This video is going to upload uh, a bit later. Then I planned it, but I uh, had to take my daughter this morning to a doctor's appointment. And like, dude, I barely slept last night too, bro. It's one of those, uh, it's just one of those things, man. We gotta, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. I feel good though, I feel good. I'm just <laughs> tired. It's gonna be an early night, but uh, I feel good. Yeah, stay right there, stay right there. Keep moving your head just like that. Oh, 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 careful, bro. Oh, you're about to get dropped. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? Are you sure you want to push me this way? Are you sure you want to do this? And he misses with that jab. I don't think so. I don't think so. Good one. Bro. This fighter is certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means. But they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. It's the one who draws first blood. Can he finish the job? Come on. Come on. A bit. He went down so oh, no yeah. Way he's going to beat this. Yeah. What a shot. Was that a flush up? Oh, yeah. Tee off on that boy. Tee off on that boy. Are you going to get up? Oh, <laughs> Yes, there you go. There you go. There you go. Saul Canelo Alvarez. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like on it. It always helps out the channel. We are going to be uploading a lot of videos for this game. Lots of fighters to showcase. So stay tuned. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.